Hi, I'm a guy named TJ. And I'm a girl named Jess. And, and this, this is a guy, guy and a girl, girl game. game. Welcome back to Donga and Robot, Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, where we just woke up in a room after getting our fucking nights nights locked out. Getting our lights knocked out. Um, I hate being locked out at night. It's the worst. <laughs> right, it's fucking scary. I wouldn't want to get locked out here because it's against the rules. As we learned in the last episode, we learned a little bit more about the handbook and shit like that. Um, so yeah, so here we go. Um, basically shit we can look at. Map and truth bullets are not available right now because we don't know where we are. We just woke up in some room. We can see what presents we have. We have none. Well, we got one, didn't we? Oh yeah, the badge. Holy crap, that's gonna take forever. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, sure. Uh, back? Oh, excellent. E escape. I, that terrifies me using escape. Yeah. Uh, report cards. Report cards for every student. Do we get info about them? What's his blood type? It's important to know. That is actually, in a lot of uh, Japanese games, they think that blood type... It used to be they used to think that blood type said a lot about your personality. Mm. So if you have a certain blood type, you're more likely to be like type A personality or whatever. You know what I mean? 31-inch chest. What a wimp. Oh my god. No, just kidding. Let's get one of the ladies. And it... They do have her booby measurements! <laughs> You don't have big boobs, though. Let's see how big B B Boob Mackenzie's boobs are. Swimming Boob Mackenzie? Yeah. 35 inches! Not as big as yeah, I would have thought. Uh... I thought I was expecting, like, 40 or something. She's the same height as me. Yep. There you go. Fair enough. All right. Regulations. We went through all these last time. Nothing got added. Yep. Not yet. Okay. Cool. So, we're back at it. Let's look around at shit. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Good to know. Oh, I thought I could look at the thing on top of it. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Roll of paper towels. It's some kind of lint roller. Oh. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, right. This is where the magic happens. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. Except for the fact it's in front of a desk. Yep. Like that. That is weird. Key. This must be the key to the room. Oh, and it's got my name on it, yep. so... M. Nagy. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. All right, can we look around? Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. That's the first thing you look for? I mean, I don't blame him. Nice! I got a coin. I got TV. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. <laughs> I hate monitors. Especially hall monitors. Monitors killed my parents. <laughs> There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah, we know about that. Jesus, don't act so surprised. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to pr completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Good, so people can't kill you in your sleep. Yep. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. That's important, I bet. because yep, it's yellow. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. I oh, bet that's also locked. gonna be important. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. Why don't the boys need extra locks? For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. Wow. Did you just fucking... Gender norms! <laughs> the sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Shh, just let it happen. Just let me stab you in the head. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Well, now My normal everyday trash. Can I see what's in the trash now? An average trash can for an average boy. Oh, okay, good. That's a nice touch, though, that they, you know... Alright, least... can we look around with the arrows? Very good, I can look at this yeah. thing. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. How to kill somebody. Right? Ew. Surveillance camera. In your room? Angle. Someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. You're just not allowed to damage them. Yeah, throw a, throw a thing over it. Oh, God. I saw the shadow first, and I was like, yeah, Who ah! are you? Looks like this door leads outside. 
It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Yeah, this is, this is the bedroom. This would appear to be the bathroom? Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Why is... I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... It's a girl's room. Ah, we fell asleep, I guess, because we were knocked out. Yeah, so they moved us into the dorm so we didn't get in trouble. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? No, it can't be his room, because the door locks, the bathroom door, and only the girls do that. Oh, that's a good point. There's only one way to find out, but my and that's keys to get out here. of here. Yeah, so I think somebody let you stay in their room. It doesn't say it has to be your dorm room. Yeah. Just to, I'm just checking. Yeah. Alright. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's what I... I don't know. Oh, no. I hope that didn't hurt the bed's feelings. Because it's normal than average like me. Yep. GTFO. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Ooh! Right in the chest. Oh! Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? His voice is like Dipper Pines' voice. Yep. So do a Dipper Pines' voice for him. Dipper Pines here. Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I need to be a little higher pitched with her. Sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. Uh. Oh, Jesus. She had an embarrassing smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Cute. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a little chibi you on the door. Yeah, it is. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's good, then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo beat the shit out of you and made you look like a giant pussy. <laughs> That's true, I did look like a total bitch, didn't I? I mean, I got knocked out right here in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Yeah. Makoto! Oh, um, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. Not a lot, but kind of. Bitch, bitch, you weren't worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh Actually, I came to get you. I'm a little suspicious right now. Sorry, I was sitting there looking at her like, hmm. Yeah, what's going on here? You came to get me? Um, here, get, get you. Me. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you'd come to the dining hall so I can poison your food. I mean, eat with you. The dining hall? You see, after you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We well, Makoto's knocked out on the floor now. So who's up for lunch? Oh yeah, I'm starving. Let's go. Right? We decided it'd be more effective if we split up to investigate. You know, that way we'd split up in a place we don't know and hope nobody murders another person while we're all alone and separated. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? Are we getting back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. None of that poisoning stuff that's I talked good. about earlier. Oh, her, she's got crazy eyes. Good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Crazy eyes. She does. Okay, cool. So let's see who's around us. Okay. So, uh, monotone. To the left. Yeah, over here. A monotone. Monotone. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that was the monotone chick. But no, that's not her. She's back that way. Wait, which one's the monotone? The chick? one that's like dressed like a Lolita. Oh, right. The one that's the Celeste. Gambler. Celestia. Yeah. And then, then we've uh, got hall, hall monitor. monitor. Then we've got biker dude. Oh, Mondo's right across the hall from us. That's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then Byakya. Yep. Douche and McGee. Right across the hall from Psycho. I mean, Psycho. Yep. Um, and then Junko. Yep. And... Not a jump in her trunk. Uh, and then Toko, who's the... Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Everyone hates to be on the trash. Girl. <laughs> and then... This... There's Celeste. There's Mondo. Monotone voice. And then, uh, oh, big boobs, Mackenzie. And then, um, man, woman. Whoa, man. 
and then uh, Leon, rocker dude, uh, crazy hair, uh, and Fever. your fucking favorite guy ever for um, fanfics. Trash! This is where my room is. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should get there myself. That's a big trash room. Yeah, it is. Okay, dining hall, I imagine, is this one with the... Man, it's not the one with the undie ruse on it. Oh, that might be a pool or a spa. Boy, girl's room. I wonder which one Sakura uses. So I can use the opposite one. Well, you're a boy, so you'd already be using the opposite I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, no, no. The cafeteria is the one with the fork and spoon. That That's sense. like a hot spring, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bath. Bath. Oh, why is this caution tape? Did somebody already die? You're just going to tell me I need to go. Looks like oh. I can't get in there. Oh, well, too bad I can't Looks like it around. sucks to suck. So, and that's an exit. Yeah, it's got a city. Oh, no, that just takes you back to the school. Yep. Daddy. This place is pretty big. Yeah, it is. Alright. Close out of that. Sorry again, guys, if that's, like, annoying for you. You're the only one here. This must be the dormitory. Di dormitory. Dining dormitory. hall. Dormitory. Pretty clean, so that's good. Or, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. Yeah. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Like Oh god. Oh, well, that's alright. We'll just let her sit. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Don't be suspicious of me. Is it really just intuition? I don't like her. She's like more perceptive than she wants to appear. It's kind of sudden, I know. But here comes a tutorial. Da 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 da. <laughs> right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're playing, to, while you're talking to her, See? some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Can I do it now? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Nope. Apparently not. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto... Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. I feel like those need to be like, this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. You know what I mean? No! What? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. okay, so we're using a, uh, a Mac. So... Try the double... The two hey, finger um... Okay, well, um, uh, it's just. Uh, there we go. Reaction. So, is this one we want to pick? Uh, or wanted to ask you something? Wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Hmm, Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Where you may be in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. <sighs> I knew it! Yep, crazy, eyes. crazy eyes. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me! Is this like, is this Pigeonations Academy again? We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um, hey, are you okay? Daijobu. Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. You should know that with your intuition. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out, because I'm so average, you know? I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Jesus. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> <laughs> she, 
she started giggling even louder. <laughs> oh god, it's like a uh, fucking... <laughs> like Yandere Simulator yeah, exactly. when you laugh? Yeah. yeah. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Dude, she's planning to kill you. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not, though. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me so hard. <laughs> Which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. It must be a clock around it here somewhere. It looks dark, looking at the yeah, window. It's, it's dark 30. Dark 45, maybe. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're looking for a clock. Oh, wait. Ready? Um, so, what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? I mean, there's um, really only two options. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. You... you really locked your clock, if you know what I'm saying. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, Thank God he um, kept the clocks around. Mm, I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up! Next time I swear I'll win no matter what it takes! Justice shall always prevail! <laughs> That's a bit much. I think I clipped. Don't you think? <laughs> nope, you still didn't clip. That's me. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. Sorry, he was taking a drink. Taking a drink. That yelling. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Is it just me though? Or Negi looks a little sketchy. In that last image, he looks a little like a hoodlum. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about uh what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl? <gasps> oh yeah. Uh Kyoko! Hmm. Kyoko Kakako! What about her? Hmm. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Because she dared. Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. That's my flashback monitor, please. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Kyoko is my spirit animal right now. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? He's super not my spirit animal. <laughs> now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. That is a mouthful. Um, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. 
Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I feel like she's being sneaky right now. Like she doesn't want to talk about what she's seen first. Yeah, that's weird. Mm -hmm, you know. Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? Oh, she's trying to butter him up right now. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. She's, Dude, done she's literally shit. done nothing. Uh, okay, so not her then. She doesn't want to talk first. Find out with you. Oh, um... I thought we were gonna. Okay, all right, I guess we're gonna talk to her. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Ah! Okay. Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Let's do Byakuya, yeah? Yep. I wanted to try and find some clues as to who is responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <laughs> if I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Uh, right. Understood. Dick. All right, can I talk to her again and do the other one? Um, yeah. Yep. You see. Oh, and that's nice. It tells you which one you already did. Yeah. I spent some time looking around the dormitory, and... Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Yeah, each door already had a nameplate on it, so I guess all the other rooms have been assigned already. Huh. I, Andy. I, I don't even... I don't want to do that thing again. Okay. We'll just... I'll do her. Alright. Nice and gruff. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. It's as low as I can go, man. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. Must somebody switch the nameplates? And plus. Oh. And to hear what I found proof or found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Guess how we found that out? Guess. Guess. Did you um, did you yell a lot? Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out. Hmm? You wouldn't hear a thing. Okay, Chihiro. <laughs> Dial it back a little bit. Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Ah, but not all of them do that. Only the ladies. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' door. That's what I'm saying. She That's knows what that. I'm saying. Yeah, she knows. That means she went in a boy's room. Yeah. Unless she read the thing. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Weird, Monokuma thinks that I'm a girl. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better have d better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. Jesus H. Christ. <sighs> I know, our, our phones are getting blown up right now. That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? She's got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. I just imagined him, like, saluting. That's it, sir! Yeah, right? Alright, guys, uh, we're actually not gonna ask everybody everything right now. We're gonna cut it here. Um, so yeah, we'll leave this episode here for right now. We hope you're all having a great week. We, uh, found out a little more information about how this is set up. Sayaka's, I don't know, I mean, I want to believe that because we, like, knew her from before. But I don't know. I don't know that I believe her. I'm a little suspicious. So, yeah. Hope you're all having a great week. We love you. Bye! Bye, guys!